414 to the middle of the green. So let's just get this damn thing in play. I don't feel like going left with that tree wood. Noodles, noodles, noodles. Noodle arms, baby. Noodle arms. Good players, we've got 185 here. Yeah? 185, down breeze. I think seven is going to be enough today. I'm feeling powerful. Just had a second hot dog. Seven on. Committed shot. Let's move the ball back a little bit in the stance. Promote less fade today. Stop this at the pin. Again, with a shuri shot. But it's still on. Jeez, I hit that off the way off the toe. <laughs> Down. So we're going to see the lines a bit better today now. After that little bevy. Snake. Bye now. Quiet, Ned Noy. Sai. Okay, well, this is a good one because I thought I was seeing double after the brewski. But apparently it is a snaker. I'm gonna go straight at it. Maybe a little left of it. Into the grain, with the grain. Oh. Yeah, so it's 3.38 to those palm trees down there. So it's straight up those palm trees, little fader, little fader, just aim it down the middle because the fade will draw, it's fine. I'm going to commit to a little fader, little fader. Ah, hit a draw. Beautiful draw, absolutely stunning, but that'll work. That's fine. <laughs> now see, players, I'm not too depressed about this. I don't know what my score is, but it's probably not very impressive. I don't really care about my score so far, players. I'm learning this golf course. It's much trickier than a lot of others. A lot of blind shots. I don't know where the green is. Some water, island greens. The pins are on all the slopes. I mean, these greens are tough. I think I've held one on the ninth hole. That's about it. Everything's on the side slope. So on these kind of greens, we have to be careful where we put the ball, which I'm not doing, of course, because I don't really know. So now I'm hitting draws when I expect fades. So a bit of a tricky day. If we can get around this course today in 81 and under, I think it's going to be a, a very nice score on the first time on this golf course. See, players, the big problem I have here is that thing that drives us all crazy. Right, some sip, so, some sip song, pitching, pitching le hasip. Have that thing that drives me crazy. When you say you're going to do something, you have the intention of doing it, in this case practicing, and you don't go and do it. And I mean, it drives you crazy because you say you're going to do something, you don't do it, and you keep saying tomorrow, and tomorrow never comes. And when you come out of play, it doesn't work out. Now, if I just go to the range, I'll get some feeling and I will be hitting more fairways. I'm making this course really difficult for myself. It's 131. I think if I hit from this light, it's going to release if I get a solid contact. So pitching will be too far. So with the wind, 50 degree. Land it on, let it roll up. And squirt it out right in the bunker. See, this is the problem. So you get angry with yourself because you've, you've promised yourself you're gonna do stuff. I mean, I've been working out. I haven't been eating less, which I'm trying to do, but I keep eating too much. So all these little things pile up to the point where you get so frustrated with yourself because you keep saying you're gonna do stuff and you don't do it. I must hit the range at least twice, three times a week. I mean, come on, it's not far from me. I must hit putts in the condo, I must do stuff. 
Instead, I get so obsessed with work and I get so into it that next thing I know it's 9.30 at night, time to eat, eat too much, drink too much, go to sleep and pee at four in the morning. This is what's frustrating me. So top, that's pretty good shot considering that lie. <sighs> In. No, pull. Okay, 183, slightly into the breeze. I think we're going with a six iron here, girlfriend. I'm not gonna try a muscle a seven. Nice, nice six iron. Should be good. No need to get intense. Keep it toward the back of the stance, I think. I think that's gonna be lovely. Straight shots, no kissing. Oh, now it's fading again. God, that's not good. That is so not good. How do you miss a target by like 30 yards? Am I ahead of it? This is not good, girlfriends. Yeah, that ball over there, that's uh, the white fox for birdie. Absolute savage. We have got a tricky situation here, boyfriends. We're a long way from the hole and we're going to go way up on the right and it's got a down slope toward the pin. Okay, so we've got to get this one flying high and far. Maybe release it a bit more. Oof. Okay, come on, baby. Like that. Beautiful shot. Oh, baby, that is the shot of the day. What a good caddy. <laughs> In the bunker short, on the fringe. <laughs> Zero putts, baby. Up and down, man. Yeah. DD part in. Okay, we're going over the. We're going dead at the pin. Dead at the pin. Driver, first one of the day. I think we've got this. Good. <laughs> Planting feathers. For the birdies. Huh? Work 60% of the time every time. Huh? We're green side here. This one went to, this one went 297. That's a nice drive. Okay, we want to get this one up. I don't think I'm gonna go 58 this time. I want to go 56 and get it get it up rolling into the hill. Sina. A little bit from the left. Yeah, that feels more solid than the 58 from this lie. Grass is growing into me, so that will affect the ball flight. I think a 56 popped on a third of the way to the hole on the green. Kind of like that, but not so far left. Oi. Stretch right, stretch right. What a caddy, man! Hey, yeah. caddy, you got a tip? <laughs> now tip. Why has it back? Now those trees up there are 356. Let's go driver. And the trees are 356 away. I just aim it at the trees up on the right there. And I know that's going to be safe. So that's a very nice line to have because that's exactly what I was looking at to start with.
just straight up at those little trees, up at the 200 yard marker, maybe 150 yard marker. Nice and controlled. Just like that. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Not the longest shot, players. Not the longest shot, but just out the center of the face. High, straight, baby fade. Exactly at my target. And if it's exactly at my target, I can't be unhappy with that. Oh, thank God, short. But it's just about confidence and hitting the, hitting the practice green. I mean, it's all very well talking about these things, but this is what I'm finding this year actually in life in general. For the last two years, I've been eating as if I'm going to fast the next day, because I like fasting. I like to fast for up to 72 hours, no food, just water, salt water, sometimes dry fasting with no food, no water, nothing, just dry. And I haven't done it in the two years that I said I've been going to do it. And now you get frustrated, you keep the kilograms on, you eat for the next fast, but you don't fast, so of course you put on the weight. And then you don't practice your golf. You don't spend more time with the loved ones. You don't do those things that you said you're going to do. And you just end up frustrated. I think I want to bounce this short of the green. One yard or two yards, let it roll on. Uh, let's go pitching. Maybe let it bounce a couple times on. Let it roll up. We don't have much green to work with. I don't want to hit a 58 and try to get cute with it. Let's just get it on. I don't want to go too far past it because then it's downhill. Short and short left would be good. Yeah, just like that. That's okay. 58 degree, got a chance of teething it. And maybe leaving it short, duffing it. Just the, the, the lie is too tight and there's not enough green to work with. Yay! Oi, Caddy! Caddy! Oi! Oi, lot! That pin is behind that bunker, on the right side of the green. One sixty-eight to the pin, one fifty-eight to carry the bunker. So we've got ten yards behind there. We want to go one fifty-eight at least. We want to go one sixty. We want to carry the full one sixty-eight. So we're going to go with the eight iron. Really. Nice firm one. I'm not going to hold off on shots anymore. We're going to just take the full eight, full blooded, get it right there. That should go easily 160. And with a solid one, I can get this out 168. Oh, pulled it. I'm trying not to I'm trying not to fade it so it's conscious in my mind and in the bunker on the left. That is absolutely shocking. <sighs> Perhaps on further reflection, maybe a seven with a fade. But then we run the risk of going in that bunker, don't we? I think I just as it as I'm taking the swing, I'm just like, don't push it outright, which is what I've been doing. Because outright is a short side. Can you overcome these demons? Can you? I guess you can. You just have to commit to hitting the ball with a full shot and not think about not going right. Just think about good stuff. But I was thinking about going right toward the hedges up there and having a short-sided chip and feeling like a poop hole. So now we have another up and down to make. Easy life. Now I've got one hell of a shot. I mean, I did get up and down from the other one. So no real fear. But uh, let's see, bit of a distance to go. 58 would be too much, too much of a big swing. Oh, the sand's okay in here, a little bit gritty, not fluffy, so it means it's a bit compacted. 
very big grains. Not fine sand, but I think a 56 up on the left could be really nice. Nice big swing. Like that, but too much spin maybe. Yeah. yeah I like that, that's fine. Oi, caddy, no good. Oi, caddy. Oi, caddy, salap, caddy. <laughs> Tell you what, players, you can easily see that this course has held a lot of championships, which it has. A lot of the top golfers have played here. This course has been open a long time, quite established. And quite a challenge. I like this nine, maybe a little more than the first nine. Just, it looks, suits my eye, beautiful. I mean, look at this hole, really tough. It's not that long, but I mean, look at the layout of it. It's like, it's tricky, you know, it's like a, sort of island fairway to a sort of island green. I want to place this properly. I want to leave myself a full shot in here. I definitely want two iron because it's only 325 to the hole or to the middle of the green. And if I can leave myself a maybe a 100 yard shot or 95 yard shot, even 120 it's fine with a miss strike. But I just want to hit something in the fairway and leave myself my favorite shot, which would be something like 100 to 130 yards in. Even a four iron could work, but I love my two. Noodle arms. It doesn't get much better than that, to be honest. Just off the fairway though. Just off the fairway, you know, that, that doesn't count as a fairway for the stats. But it's like, 50 centimeters max. But an absolutely beautiful shot. Now I've set up the shot I want into the green. That's how you have to play golf. I'm not saying I'm the best. Plans don't always go as planned. But if you have a plan and you can commit to a plan, the results will, will be better than no plan, just hit and hope. Uh, pulled it. Oh. What a shot. Oh. And then it spins down to never land. Look at this umbrella. Stick on there, yeah, it stopped. What do we do from here? Okay, good lie, sitting up. Got to get it up on the crest here though. Remember to keep turning, baby. Just like that. Tear it up on the right, hit it toward the left. I think that's the safer play. Allow for a bit of a fade, but not too far left. Center left of the fairway. If it fades, good. If it stays on that line, good. If it draws, that's fine. Big fade. Right side of the fairway. Laugh need now, yeah? Okay, in the rough on the right, can't argue with that, I'm fine with that. I don't know if you even saw my shot, to be honest. Did you? Maybe not. Hello. We have to plant a feather to grow the birdie. We've done it twice, I've got two birdies. Let's plant another one. ABP, always be planting. Now I have 320, what? 297 to the hole, uphill, and I don't think much is working that great. So I want to have a pitch on. Let's go to let's go let's go Lake Lexi. I'm gonna go four iron. 
because this one's going to leave me approximately 90 to 100. I want to hit my lob wedge or my 56, preferably the lob wedge, to be honest. No, no, you've pulled it. Oh, God, Matt. What are we doing there? That is not what I want, you know? On a par five, I never want to have an approach shot from a bunker. That is just one of those swaying swings. I could feel it, I did that. Okay, it's that 111 yard shot that I absolutely love from the fairway bunkers, but I'm going to be more positive about this one. And I'm going to hit the 50 degree high sip. 111 yards, but players, you've got to get out to these kind of courses if you come to Thailand. There's just such a difference for these premium quality courses. The experience is different, the condition is different, the design, simply the best. One of the best in Bangkok at the moment. 11150 one, degree. Get that right foot in, get my feet level with the ball. Get that right foot slanted in, weight pointed to the left. There we go, that's the one. Please sit down, please sit down. Exactly perfect. Exactly perfect, baby. You wanna play these courses, Alpine. What a golf course, beautiful conditioning, fantastic caddies. This is my caddy over here, Miss Chon. Fantastic. The best caddy, Diti Sut Nailo. And you want to come out here and enjoy yourself, don't get, you know, you can, you can try organize this stuff yourself because, you know, different courses have different sports days and all that stuff. But like today, I drove myself today. This is why I'd rather book through Golf Asian because they will drive me here and I'll get you on time. I was, I was here 10 minutes before the tea time, planning on being here 45 minutes, but I took a wrong turn because of Google Maps. Not worth the time. Golf Asian gets you from your door to the golf course back again for a night out. Fantastic. Just make sure you follow through on this bad boy. Make sure you follow through on the bad boy. Little downhill slider. Follow through. Follow through. Come on, man. Birdie, baby. Caddy, boy, caddy, me tip. Song like that. As you know, players, I like to say Sundays, Saturdays are for the boyfriends. But you know what? So are Tuesdays. And this week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday are also for the boyfriends. Noodles, baby. Noodles. Oh, wait, Ignan! Ignan! Safe, mate. Oh, yeah. not my best shot, players, but uh, but I mean, so what? What an afternoon with the two players, White Fox, Diddy. Granted, lads. Like what? Who says lads? Granted, boyfriends. We uh, didn't hit a great shot here. Tough one left. 175 yards with a shot, with a tree in the way, on an upslope, with water on the right. But this thing is definitely in my favor to turn right to left because of the lie. Uh, 175, and we want to draw it around there, kind of keep it low. Let's do uh, Lekha, let's do five iron, players. Five iron, you see, I've got to go over that stake over there. I don't know if you can see the stake. There's a black and white stake there. And it's, uh, that's probably my line, but I can't hit a six because it's going to pop up into the tree. So I want to hit a five iron. Luckily, I don't have any water to actually carry. Well, I mean, there is a carry over water, but I can probably carry this at least 160. And if I can roll this out to the back of the green 180, that's fine. But I just have to remember to keep turning and not quit on the shot. And don't hump the ball. So if we can get it going on that line, little baby draw, gonna be, we're going to be absolutely laughing. Get those shoulders square to the heel. Get that ball back for a draw. Oh. 
just over, just over the water place. Just over, see I quit on that one. Final hole, total, total botch up. But at least we have a pitch. 52 yards, we want to carry this about 50, let it stop in time. 52, I think I'm going to try the 56 degree. I think this is a nice, simple one. Instead of hitting like a hard 58, just I trust this 56 a lot as well. I don't really like pitching with my 58 more than like 40 yards, 35 yards. So let's go 50 yards with a 56. Remember to keep turning. Keep turning, baby. Keep rotating. Okay, that's sat down nicely, just behind the hole. Putt for the par, easy life, players. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. What a caddy, man! Wait! Right. 